All right, guys. Well, we are at the Columbus, Ohio Fishing Expo, and I ran into Doc Lang. And uh, Doc and I were sitting there talking about his uh, his snail knot that he ties, and I, I've seen it three or four times, and I still never remember it. And uh, I figure I'm not the I'm not the only one. Usually, when uh, Doc goes tying this knot, there's a crowd. So I thought I'd get it on video here, and uh, Doc's gonna kind of walk us through how he ties his snail knot and. Uh, See if any of y'all like that. So check it out. So, so I'm using a 12 aught uh, circle hook from uh, Dale's Tackle. And this is just a uh, 40 pound big game mono. And all, all, all I do is I bring the line through the top of the hook and bring it out about four or five inches. Then I bring my other end and I bring it through the bottom. And I then I bring it to the right here to the shank and then this loop is what you have here and then all i do is just roll that seven or eight times you gotta hang on to it and then and there you go that is a pretty knot of course we got noise behind us at the same time just so <laughs> all right so if you guys are wondering uh, the difference in this knot is the ability to stay put so uh when you tie the the yeah, it won't move the uh no knot snail knot what a lot of us have a problem with is especially with big diameter line is it kind of springing back and and getting loose on you and this knot here prevents all that that stays tucked in there you see the tag line is under all the wraps it, it can't come out so. And and you can cut you can cut this tag line all the way back. Yeah, and it, it's still not going to come off. You know, the more you pull on it, the tighter the wraps are going to get. They're going to stay right there on it. So, and that's that's a snail lot of knot I've been using for a lot of years. So I I did talk I do tie the no knot if I'm in a real big hurry, uh, but most of the time this is the knot I use. 100% of the time. So. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, buddy. Yep.